In the southwestern corner of Charlotte County, Florida, there is a mile long stretch of white sand beach overlooking the beautiful clear blue waters of the Gulf of Mexico. This Paradise Beach is at the southern tip of Manasota Key and it is known as Stump Pass State Park. Manasota Key is one in a series of barrier islands off the west coast of Florida. These barrier islands create these channels on the eastern side in between mangroves that are popular marina and boating locations providing access out to the Gulf of Mexico. This beach is known for ample shelling opportunities. It's known for actually an abundance of shark teeth which wash up on this beach annually. Anglers also love the waters off of this beach because they are known to catch world-class size fish. So today we're checking out this paradise stump past State Beach and it's already loaded with plenty of excitement because at the trailhead there is a sign saying there's 25 loggerhead turtles nesting in this area. So it's also a nature preserve. So we're going to keep our eye out for plenty of wildlife, possibly some manatees, the sea cows that Florida is known for, plenty of interesting native vegetation and it's going to be a wonderful day here on the southwest coast of Florida. So this nature trail is about 1.3 miles from the parking lot to Stump Pass and there's plenty of places to stop on either side of the trail to enjoy either the, the bay or the Gulf of Mexico and either way you can't go wrong. Plenty of little nooks and crannies to get your own little private pocket of beach paradise. So there is a charge to park here, it's about three dollars, no big deal, totally worth it. It's a small parking lot though so you probably want to get here early to avoid the crowds. So originally we're gonna walk all the way to the end of the end of the trail. 1.3 miles, but man, it is just too hot today. So we got to this spot where there's no one else. So we figured this is a good spot to stop and have our own little slice of paradise here. I am ready to get in that water. churned up today but still nice and blue the water temp is amazing it's straight up bath water it is like almost to the point where it's not even refreshing it's so warm right here we have a perfect example of a quintessential Florida wild edible, sea grapes. Unfortunately, they're not ripe yet. They're still that bright green color. When they turn like a purple color towards the end of summer, they are ripe. However, in this area, because it is a preserved area, they don't want you picking the sea grapes and eating them. So this is what the manatees eat. Usually you find manatees where there's seagrass, but I don't know if we'll see any today. It's a little too churned up. The visibility's not that great. And usually, I think they like to stick more to the inlets. But if there's a massive patch of seagrass out here, you never know. You might find some. Oh, I'm touching, something's touching me. Oh, just seagrass. This tree behind me is known as the Hercules Club or the toothache tree. 
It's been used by Native Americans for centuries. The bark and the leaf when chewed causes a numbness of the mouth, and that's why it's been used medicinally by Native Americans and is also commonly known as the toothache tree. So I just saw a massive school of fish surfing the wave. See, we can see a school of fish in this wave right here.